And at 7.03 a.m. Central Time, the deployment of the second array uh, resumes. A two-part uh, deployment. The first uh, sequence uh, out to a deployed length of about 49%. or about uh, 15 and a half bays of about 33 bays in length. The bays are considered the, uh, the centerpiece, the truss structure, or the mast portion between the two panels. Each of the uh, blankets uh, consists of uh, 84 uh, panels, of which 82 are uh, populated with solar cells. Each of those uh, panels contain 200 solar cells. Fully extended, the uh, array uh, measures 38 feet across and about uh, 107 feet uh, in length. Combined end-to-end uh, -end with the other array, uh, it stretches about 240 feet tip-to-tip. -tip. The uh, darker areas of the array are uh, representative of the stiction phenomenon, thus the reason for stopping halfway or at about the 49% uh, uh, deploy point. Uh, that is the stopping point where uh, the uh, teams will allow the thermal conditioning uh, to begin. That's about a 30 minute or so uh, clock that uh, will allow the warming of the solar arrays before the continuation of the deployment. Eleven of uh, fifteen bays now deployed. The sequence uh, continuing to go very smoothly. Yeah. Uh, second solar array resumes. Seven thirty-eight a.m. That's correct, Atlantis, no changes.
and we've lost our uh, television. We're taking uh, sequential still images uh, through the system as the uh, deploy continues. Forty-four minutes after the hour, the uh, good deploy of the two A array, um, very similar to the uh, deploy of the four A array. Notification of the solar array deploy. Big day for space station. We confirm the solar array is also fully deployed on telemetry. Congratulations. <laughs> 